In this figure we have an inscribed regular hexagon whose area is 9 square units. This hexagon is an inscribed hexagon because it is inside of a circle and all the vertices are on the circle. Then we need to find the area of the circumscribed hexagon. So the method I will use will involve the formula for the area of a regular hexagon. This formula is 3 s squared square root of 3 over 2. A regular hexagon is a hexagon with 6 equal sides and 6 equal angles and s represents one side. So using this formula, first I will find one side of this inscribed hexagon. For this, let's replace area with 9. Then we will have 9 equals 3 s squared square root of 3 over 2. Here we will multiply both sides by 2 to eliminate the denominator. Then on the left side 2 times 9 is 18 and on the right side 2 and 2 will cancel and we will have 3 s squared square root of 3. Now to isolate s squared we will divide both sides by 3 square root of 3. Then on the left side 18 divided by 3 is 6. Then we will write 6 over square root of 3. Then on the right side we will cancel 3 and square root of 3. And we will bring down s squared. And now to find s we will take the square root of the left side. So then s equals square root of 6 over square root of 3. So we just found one side of the inscribed hexagon. Now take a look at the triangle A, B, C. This is an isosceles triangle because sides A, C and B, C are equal. And they are equal because if we have a circle and a point that is outside of the circle and if from this point we draw two tangent lines to this circle then the segment A, C will be equal to the segment B, C. Now in this triangle we know side AB and we need to find one of these shorter sides, for example AC. In a regular hexagon each interior angle measures 120 degrees so we can say that this angle C measures 120 degrees. In general if we want to find the interior angle of any regular polygon then we can use the following formula n minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by n. In this formula, n represents the number of sides in a regular polygon. So if a hexagon has 6 sides, then 6 minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by 6 will be equal to 120 degrees. Now to find side AC from C I will draw a perpendicular down and I will form a right triangle. In this triangle this angle is half of 120 degrees which is 60 degrees. Side AD is half of square root of 6 over square root of 3. So again this side is square root of 6 over square root of 3 all divided by 2 and let's keep it in this form for now. In this right triangle, AC represents the hypotenuse. And if we know one angle and the opposite side of this angle and we need to find the hypotenuse, we can use the sine function. So we will write that sine of 60 degrees equals the opposite side which is square root of 6 over square root of 3 over 2 divided by the hypotenuse AC. To solve for AC we will divide this expression by sine of 60 degrees. So AC equals square root of 6 over square root of 3 divided by 2 all over sine of 60 degrees. Sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2 then we will have the following square root of 6 over square root of 3 divided by 2 
all over square root of 3 divided by 2. Here we will cancel 2 and 2. Then AC is equal to square root of 6 over square root of 3 all over square root of 3. So if this expression represents AC, then to find the side of the circumscribed hexagon, we need to double it. So one side of the circumscribed hexagon is 2 times square root of 6 over square root of 3 all over square root of 3. And now once we know one side, we will use this formula one more time to find the area of the circumscribed hexagon. So then area equals, we will start a fraction and we will bring down 3 times and now in place of s squared we will write this expression squared. So here we have it and now we have to bring down square root of 3 and over 2. So times square root of 3 and over 2. Now to simplify it we need to raise everything inside the parentheses to the second power. First we will bring down 3 times and now let's start the fraction. 2 to the second power is 4 and square root of 6 over square root of 3 to the second power will be just 6 over square root of 3 because the square root and the second power will cancel each other. So in the numerator we will have 4 times 6 over square root of 3. In the denominator square root of 3 to the second power is 3. So we will write 3 in the denominator and then we will multiply by square root of 3 and divide all by 2. Then here 3 and 3 will cancel and we will have the following. 4 times 6 over square root of 3 multiplied by another square root of 3 all divided by 2. Then square root of 3 and square root of 3 will cancel and 4 times 6 is 24 and 24 divided by 2 is 12. So we found the area of the circumscribed hexagon and it is 12 square units. Now please let me know in the comments if you could find this area using any other methods. What if you divide this inscribed hexagon into 6 equal equilateral triangles? Then you could find the area of each one by dividing 9 by 6. Now what if we split one of these triangles into 3 equal triangles? Then can we show that the area of one of them is the same as the area of this top triangle? Please let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching.